you're in for a rude awakening. It's gonna be a really rough 24 months. If you're not prepared for this and you do, are not willing to go out and spend money to acquire a client, you're gonna be in serious trouble and you're gonna have a potential shutdown looming in the next 24 months if you don't. Look at your numbers, realize what's needed, and make the necessary changes right away. It's really important that you make the decision now and just go with it. That's the only thing you need to do. There's a really common theme right now that's happening across the entire industry. So if you're watching this, this is released around November of 2022. So at this point, Elon has taken Twitter private. He has cut 50% of the staff. As of yesterday, Meta, aka Facebook, cut 11,000 employees and is slated to cut more. We're seeing cuts across all tech companies and SaaS. We're seeing freezing on hiring. So Apple is no longer hiring anyone outside of R&D. So engineers, they're doing a hiring freeze and Apple is currently worth more than Google, Netflix, Facebook, aka Meta, Amazon combined. And so we're in a position right now in the marketplace where things are slowing down. It's really important to understand like what are the lessons that we can pull from this? Number one is when you're seeing this and these cuts, these cuts should have happened a long time ago. What's unfortunate right now is that these are very alarming for people, but like they should have happened a long time ago. The fact that Twitter was losing $4 million a day and then they decided to cut once Elon took over means that the people that were in charge were abdicating their responsibility responsibility to do what's best for the business. And so as a business owner, like what can I learn from this? Well, number one is always you should protect your profits. Like if you are not making a profit, especially if you're a fitness professional and in gyms, your main priority should be looking at your P&L and looking at your profit. If you're not making a profit, you are literally running a nonprofit. You have a job. Stop. You need to aggressively look at your expenses slash everything there. So you need to be making the decision based on your numbers and based on profits in the business. That's number one. Number two, if you continue to put off making a decision, aka the right decision for your business, you will lose. The ones that win, they see what needs to happen and they immediately make the right decision and go for it. Facebook should have made this decision a long time ago and they're paying for it now. Yes, they cut 11,000 people as of November 8th or November 9th, 2022, but they still need to cut more people. They still are net above where they were. Their expenses are way too high. They're sinking a ton of money into Meta, which could play out to be a genius play, but at currently in their business structure, they should have cut people way further back. Twitter, once Elon took over, literally Literally within a week, he cuts 50% because he knows this is what has to happen. He took the company private. It's no longer public. He needs to make sure that it's actually making money and he's going to do everything he possibly can to make sure that it's profitable. Just like Tesla was. Tesla made more profit in Q3 than Toyota did selling, I think it was 25% of the cars, aka units sold than Toyota did in the same time period. And so he knows how to turn a profit because he knows what's right for the business. He knows how to make them more efficient. He understands how important it is when it comes to people and staff and your P&L. He understands that. So how do I take that and learn from that within the gym? I have to understand that if I look at my numbers and I know I need to make a decision and it's the decision that's best for the business, both short term and long term, if I keep putting it off, it will lead to even more damage and it continues to compound the longer you wait. And so it's really important that once you know, it's really important that you make the decision now and just go with it. That's the only thing you need to do. Another key piece about this, and this really isn't a point, this is more of a side note for anyone that's watching this and you're a gym owner. I do not like to give power to beliefs that don't serve me. Yes, you can read all you want about the recession, you can read all about this stuff. All those things are outside of your control right now. The only thing you can control inside of your business is how you show up on a daily basis, how you prepare, aka train yourself and your team, and are you actually utilizing your time and attention to the best of your ability? That is it, that's all you can control. What am I gonna do right now to help serve my clients and get more clients so that I can change more lives, reach more people and make more money. That's it. And so if your time is not being spent on that, you should really take a second and audit your time and figure out, okay, where should I be putting my time and attention in order to ultimately help more people and make more money? During a downturn, a recession, there are lots of ways to win and continue to win. Fitness will be great. Fitness was exceptional during the past recession in 2008. They only saw a 1% decrease, 1%. That was it. Because people still understand that fitness is still needed. And so fitness will still be here. Now there might be iterations and the lower performers that made it through COVID somehow and still have not changed their ways, they're gonna die and they're gonna shut down for good. The rest of y'all that are still watching this and are following through and actually changing lives and actually going out there and spending marketing dollars to get more clients in, you're gonna be just fine. But those of you that don't, and those of you that just try to ride the wave and stay status quo and you're not getting new clients in, you're in for a rude awakening. It's gonna be a really rough 24 months. This cycle, especially with consumer spending and where it's at, if you're not prepared for this and you are not willing to go out and 
and spend money to acquire a client, you're gonna be in serious trouble and you're gonna have a potential shutdown looming in the next 24 months if you don't. Look at your numbers, realize what's needed, and make the necessary changes right away. Now, it's not all doom and gloom. All of these cuts that we're seeing in tech, I actually called this internally about a year ago. As soon as they started printing money, really, I knew that there was gonna be a problem, but as soon as I started seeing tech rising like crazy and looking at the costs associated with hiring people, I knew right away this is not sustainable. We called this about a year ago internally as a team. We knew that the downturn was gonna happen. We knew that tech was gonna do major layoffs, which means there's gonna be an incredible opportunity for a lot of companies. But within the gym space, it's really important. Keep it very simple. Go out, get more clients, be willing to spend the money to grab them, have the right mousetrap so that you can be profitable on the back end, and make the decisions that you need to inside of your business. And once you make the decision, go with it and don't look back. Now, if you like this stuff, you find it interesting, I appreciate your time and attention. I really do. It is the most valuable thing you can give me and I never wanna take it for granted. If you wanna learn more about how to run a massively profitable gym, we have a ton of free content on our channel. Just hit the subscribe button. We try to do our best to ensure that we give away stuff that is more valuable than other people's paid stuff. And then we also have a free download that you can grab. It's a seven money models that we use to help build gyms to over $100,000 a month like clockwork. You can grab it by clicking the link down in the description. If you wanna learn more about how to work with us here at Gym Launch and be able to build a reception Session proof bulletproof gym that is massively profitable. Go ahead. Once you download that, you can book a call with our team. They'll walk you through it and see if it's a good fit. And if it is, let's work together and we'd love to help you scale. Either way, enjoy all the free content. Again, I appreciate your time. And as always, gym owners rule.